Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I want to discuss something that came up recently when I was ordering some new solar panel. When I got ready to order different solar panels, I was comparing and noticed that some are single glass and some are dual glass. So I wanted to do a little deep dive on that and find out really what's the difference between them and, and what's best for your use or my use. And everybody's use is different. So understanding the differences between these two panels uh, may help you in selecting the best panel for your use. Let's take a look at it. Oh, and hey, stick around till the end of the video because I've got a screaming deal on some solar panels for you to order that'll save you a ton of money. So hang on and let's get into this single glass versus dual glass solar panels. When they originally came out with bifacial panels, that's the solar panel that can pick up light from the front and the back. They were typically single glass panels, meaning the front of the panel had glass and the back of the panel, some kind of coating that would no, let no light in. And they replaced that with a clear vinyl coating. And that allowed light to come in through the back of the panel and give you the bifacial effect, giving you additional power uh, when there was more light or reflection from the back of the panel. But more recently, they've come out with dual glass panels. And what that means is, instead of there just being glass on the front of the panel, there's actually glass on the front of the panel and glass on the back of the panel. So there's glass on both sides. And there's some benefits and drawbacks to both. Let's take a look at what's the difference between single glass and dual glass panels. And at first, the biggest difference you're going to find is that single glass panels typically have a thicker glass, a tempered glass on the front of the panel than a, a double glass or dual glass panel will have. It's pretty common to see single glass panels with a 3.2 millimeter glass on the front of the panel and then like a clear vinyl backing on the back of the panel. Now with dual glass panels, you'll see a, a front glass panel and a rear glass panel, but usually those are about two millimeters or a little bit less than two millimeters, like 1.3 to two millimeters. So you've got glass on the front, you've got glass on the back, and that does some. there's some benefits to that, but there's some drawbacks as well. So for single glass panels, the pros are generally, they're lighter. In comparison to different panels, I found maybe 10% difference in weight between single glass and dual glass. It varies, depends, depends on the size of the panel and the, and the brand of the panel, but, but roughly just kind of keep that in mind for, for that difference. They've got thicker front glass, and that thicker front glass may or may not give you more resilience to things like hail and, and storm damage uh, from that. For dual glass panels, typically the benefits you'll see is you'll have better protection on the rear side of the panel from scratches and potential water penetration into the panel from what, what used to be a vinyl coating on the back of the panel. So in addition to moisture penetration, the glass on the back of the panel with a dual glass panel gives you better light penetration through the panel on the back side. So you may see better bifacial performance from a dual glass panel than you would from a single glass panel. Now, as far as cons, single glass panels, a little easier to scratch the back of them because it's just vinyl and you get a little bit less light penetration from the back of a single glass panel. The big cons with a dual glass panel is that they're heavier. They're gonna be heavier than a single glass panel and the front glass is gonna be thinner. So like I said, you have a thicker front glass on the single glass panel and the dual glass panel, you're gonna have a little bit thinner front glass, but you've also got glass on the back. So all that sandwich in between is supposed to provide similar rigidity. For rating panels on the front and back side, they use a PA rating, and that basically translates into how many pounds per square inch can the panel take on the front and then on the back. And you'll compare you'll compare panels by the PA rating. So it'd be typically something like 5,400 PA in the front and 2,400 PA in the back. Or you might have some that are 5,400 PA in the front and 5,400 PA in the back. That would mean the back panel is stronger than a pan back panel that has a lower PA rating. So when you're looking at panels, think about these things and, and think about your needs and what's most important for you. A lot of people that are mounting their panels on a roof, the rear light penetration isn't as big a deal and the weight might be a bigger deal. In that case, you might opt more towards a single glass panel. In situations where you're mounting them uh, on a ground mount or a rack where you have a lot of rear light, or maybe you're in a snowy conditions where you, where you get uh, albedo from the reflection of the snow, you might want to go with a dual glass panel to get more light coming through that backside and give you more low light generation for your panels. So let's take a look at a dual glass panel and a single glass panel and look at the back of the panel and see the difference. Okay, so here we have, this is an SEG 405 watt, 108 cell bifacial panel, single glass. So there's one piece of glass on the front and the back side of this panel has a clear vinyl coating. And if you look at them just Real quickly, you can't, they, they look very similar, but I'll show you on this vinyl coating here, it's a little bit 
more susceptible to scratching. See how those scratches there? That I scratched that vinyl right here. And so, yeah, th this is just a vinyl coating. It's not glass. And, th and this may hold up perfectly well for your needs, and, and they may hold up just as long as the glass. It just, it's not really, we don't really know. It just depends on your use condition and what, what works best for you. This 400 watt panel is made by Hyperion, and this is a glass glass panel. So you have glass in the back, glass in the front. And you'll see if I come in here and kind of do the same thing, let's say right here. See that? I can't scratch it because it's glass. So this back side's all sealed with glass, whereas the other one's just a, a basically a vinyl sheet that sticks to the back of the panel. Both of them work great with bifacial uh, solar. They both allow light in. The glass panel tends to get a little bit better rear light performance than the single glass panel. But on the front of this panel, the glass is gonna be thinner than the front of that panel. So those are the difference you need to think about when you're looking at panels. So again, it kind of depends where you're planning on mounting them. So if you're mounting them on your roof, then you're not gonna be anticipating that much bifacial gain anyway. Maybe it's more important for you to have a thicker front glass on the panel since you're gonna just be roof mounting them. If you're mounting them on a, on a ground mount, then you may be anticipating more performance from the rear of the panel, and the rear of the panel is going to be exposed to more sun, weather, things like that. So you might want to have a, a little bit better protection on the back of the panel and go with a dual glass panel like this. Dual glass, single glass, I've got both. The first batch of panels I bought were single glass. They've worked great. I just purchased a pallet of these Hyperion 400 watt panels. I like them a lot. They're doing great. Again, it depends on your use case, where you're mounting them, and what you're anticipating. But let me tell you something about a deal on some solar panels. Right now, at Signature Solar, they have these panels right here, these 400-watt Hyperion panels. They've got them on sale for $100 each, which is amazing for a panel, a dual-glass 400-watt panel like this. And I'll tell you, even better, if you buy a pallet of them, it brings the cost down to $88 per panel. I bought a pallet of them. I love them. These may work for you, but you may decide that you need a single glass panel, and there's single glass panels that's going to your solar, like the Aptos 400, which is a great single glass panel. I suggest if you know you're going to be needing panels, purchase a pallet at once. It's easier to ship them. They're usually less damage, and the shipping cost on multiple orders of panels can easily be two or three times more than it would be to just order a whole pallet at first. And with a price like $88 a panel, I don't think you can find anything right now that has better performance level than these Hyperion 400 watt panels for less than $100. So if you use my link in the description of the video for these panels, it'll save you an additional $50 either on a pallet of panels or if you order 10 panels. Either way, minimum order is 10 panels from Signature Solar. So what do you think about single glass and dual glass solar panels? You think one's better than the other? Leave a comment in the video and let me know. Hey, I'm Michael. We're living two steps from off grid and getting closer to zero every day and i really appreciate you watching the videos i appreciate you subscribing and liking the videos and i especially appreciate you ordering stuff through signature solar through my affiliate links